From the start, Olama has been a fast project. Every few days, new features, new capabilities. But there are two additions recently that have me more excited than ever before. They are amazing because they eliminate a bunch of effort on my part. The first was effort I had to take to cover up a weakness. And the other was effort to make something I do quite often faster and more efficient. Let's take a look at the first. I made a video about how format JSON works. It's a key part of function calling. In fact, it is function calling. Now, it's not calling functions because function calling doesn't call functions. It just outputs in a way that's predictable so that your application can call the function. This is super critical. Otherwise, you have to resort to kludges and workarounds that should never have been needed. Instead, your AI model can be a part of your code, making your application smarter and more creative where it needs to be. You can even give the model a series of functions and their inputs and let it decide which to call. But if you're doing this, it's probably a sign that you're doing something wrong. Take a few extra minutes to think through your application logic to ensure that you're doing it the right way. In that video, I created a simple example that generated a list of three random colors. The list was formatted as an array with a key of colors. So then I could just print out colors in the response. The only problem was that it would often error out. There was some kind of weirdness in the output. And so I just wrapped it in a try catch block with nothing really happening in the catch other than getting it to try again. <laughs> this was kind of stupid, but it got it to work. Although I should have just repeated this in the code. I opted for making it simple and creating a shell script to repeat it a hundred times. Because of the errors, it rarely finished. And in 0.1.43, the problem just goes away. I removed the try catch block and the code worked every time. Awesome. And so much more elegant. Let's go on to the next fix that I love. Being on the original maintainer team and the first person to push a model to alama.com, I also pulled a lot of models. For a while, that was every model. I have since cured my addiction going to a normal list of models on my machine with much thanks to Golama for helping me achieve that. Check out this video for more on what Golama is. Well, models get updated every now and then. There isn't a set schedule or, and some get updated more often than others. The way to update a model is to pull it. You do that with the Olama pull model name command. The problem here is that pulling a model that hadn't been updated can take a while. Try 30 seconds or more per model. Multiply that times hundreds of models and you are stuck for a while. So I came up with the Olama model updater. Yeah, I know. I'm super creative when it comes to naming things. Rather than just pulling a model, it compared the manifest on olama.com with the hashes of blobs locally. If and only if there's something new was the model actually pulled. This comparison takes a fraction of a second, so I could finish the update in less than a minute instead of what often took 90 minutes. I don't really know what Olama is doing now, but I have to assume it's doing something very similar because pulls of models that haven't changed is now super quick. So now you can replace my program with a simple bash one-liner. That said, I wish Olama pull also accepted a flag like dash dash all to just pull everything. Some folks may still get some value out of the code because it shows where Olama stuff exists on olama.com. Anyway, I'm really excited about these two little minor fixes that were added in the last few versions that most people probably don't care about. Some of the other features in recent versions that stand out include a bunch of fixes to Olama Create and a better import guide, automatically including prompt templates when you create a model, some fixes to PS and tags, support for flash attention, support for newer icons, and a whole lot more. You can check out the releases on GitHub to see all the changes. What do you think? Are there any new little features that have been added to the last few versions of Olama that you got really excited about? I hope you'll tell me about them in the comments below. Did you know that I also have a newsletter? You can sign up for it at technoevangelist.com slash newsletter. If you want to see that video about format JSON, you can find it right here. And the URL will also be down in the description below along with the link to that Golama video. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye. Cheers.